There's a bunch of different ways to learn cork, but this is one of the best ways you can learn it. Let's learn how to cork. We're gonna get the twist part done first, and then we're gonna flip it. If you learn it this way, it's gonna really help when it comes to variations, as you'll be in complete control all the way through. You'll be able to see what's happening, so you'll be able to make changes. You're gonna look up at your target. Also, try to bring up the knee on your plant leg as well. This is gonna really help when it comes to doing the next step. Don't worry at all about flipping in this step. You wanna stay nice and vertical. Try to go as high as you can. Try to put as much power in as you can while still remaining in control. If you start off doing it really slowly and add the speed, that's gonna be much easier than you trying to do it really fast with loads of power straight away. For our next step, you're gonna do the exact same thing, but once you see your target, you're going to try and pull that plant leg over so that you can land on both feet at the same time. Really engaging your hips and your core and pulling your hips around to land in this position. Make sure you don't look down at any point. Make sure you don't rush to land on your plant leg. You wanna land on both feet with plenty of control. This isn't too big of a change. All you're gonna do now is after you land, try to look over your shoulder in the direction you'd want to twist for your cork. So you're trying to look into this landing position so you can see where you're going to be landing. Then start to try and turn your hips. At first you're only gonna turn like a quarter, but then you should be able to build it up so you do that full extra half turn and land in a complete position. Here you're pretty much doing a cork without flipping. It's not too hard a movement, but it's really important that you have both of your spots. You see your target and then you see the ground. Don't skip out the target just yet. You can keep your plant leg bent as you pull this around as this is gonna help when it comes to flipping in your cork. Make sure you do this step plenty of times so it's really comfortable, you don't have to think too much. It's more drilled into your muscle memory. See the first spot, see the second spot, land. So once you're consistently landing this step, then we're gonna take out that first spot. So you're gonna try and take off in the exact same way, lift your head up to the same position you would have, but instead of trying to see that spot, you're trying to see that landing second spot as soon as you possibly can. This is gonna get you round much faster and is gonna really help you get the feeling for your cork. If you're not landing the previous step every time, jumping ahead to this one is gonna make it much harder to learn your cork. So make sure you put in the time that you need to put in. So now you're swinging into your cork takeoff, you're doing the twist and you're landing in the correct position. But there's one problem, you're not really flipping. So how are we gonna fix this? How are we gonna make you do more of a flip in your cork? Now there's something very simple you can change to do this. You're gonna try and take off with your head and chest lower to the ground than you've been doing. Try to look over your shoulder at the floor. That's gonna automatically make you lean back just that little bit more. Don't worry about leaning back loads straight away. Just try and do the exact same thing so it should feel the same, but you're going to look at the floor over your shoulder before you take off. You'll notice this has added a bit of inversion to your cork. From here, all you need to do is keep leaning your head and chest further back in the takeoff. The more comfortable you get, the easier this is going to be. Try and think about keeping tension throughout your core and your swing leg so that as your swing leg swings forwards, your head and chest swing backwards and you look over your shoulder. It shouldn't be too hard for you to get this kind of cork to at least a horizontal. Thanks for watching. This video is actually taken from the Ultimate Cork Guide, which includes four different methods for learning the cork, as well as an in-depth technique deep dive on all the different applications of a cork. If you want to watch that and get access to over a thousand exclusive Kojo's Trick Lab videos, then check out kojostricklab.com.